All right, the last uh, few, well, I shouldn't say the last few, maybe the last couple hours, I've been working on my drawer parts. And uh, quite honestly, I really don't care what they, what they look like. I want them to function well. Uh, so I've got like this piece here. I'm recycling some of my old, uh, my, my old, uh, like my old uh, platform that held my sliding table. I cut that up. There's some screw holes here, and um, I really don't care. Um, it's going to be a drawer, and I want it to hold stuff. That's it. But what I have done is I've got the pieces uh, cut to to rough length, and I've got the width taken care of already and the uh, one side uh, squared so I make my mark here in the corner I know then that I squared off of us this long edge and this one is my finished side here so I'll cut everything to length uh, one thing I wanted to show you here is this is what I'm gonna do for my joint I'm just gonna use a simple uh, lock joint here, you know, with a quarter inch rabbit. Glue them together. It's a it's self squaring joint. It's very strong once you put it together. The only thing about doing this when you're working with this plywood is you've got to be very careful when you do this that this doesn't pop off on you. So I'll make that I'll I'll make that joint uh, very carefully, and then when I put it together, I can't be racking it and pulling it around or this this will just pop right off but once I get it together and glued it'll be extremely strong so um, that's what I'm gonna do there so uh, this is what I this is what I came up with for my drawers I, it's 27 it's 27 and a half inches deep or close to that I'm gonna make my drawers 27 and a quarter deep uh, it's 24 and three quarter wide so I've got to subtract one inch for my um, full full extension slides that I bought, and uh, and then add a half inch for this quarter inch tail here on each of these uh, cross pieces. So my finished width is 24 and a quarter, and then my my heights are four different heights, but I've already got those taken care of. So. I need two each of these and two each of these. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'll square, square them up, cut them to length, work on my, you know, get my dado set out here. I'll use some scrap pieces to get this thing set perfect. And once I get that done, I'll show you what that looks like. And then uh, it's just a matter of putting in drawer bottoms and uh, mounting slides to them. And then once I get those uh, drawers in place, then I can uh, take a look at how maybe I want to divide them up or what I want to do with that. So let me get them uh, cut to length, and then we'll be back, and I'll show you what I have in mind for uh, my, my drawer joint here. I'll cut a couple uh, test pieces and show you what it looks like. Okay, so there's all my 27 and a quarters. And then I'll do the other pieces here.
Well, before I cut my pieces, I wanted to do a real world uh, measurement over there. And one thing I forgot in my calculation here was the width of my pieces. I have to subtract the width of my pieces as well. So this is uh, 18 millimeter, I think. Yeah. Just shy of three quarter. So I'm going to have to uh, do a little recalculating here. I might have to end up doing this in metric. But let me, let me refigure what I need to do. So this is then minus two times the width of my material has to come off of this measurement here. And then I'll be right. So let me uh, let me redo that, and I'll, I'll be right back. Luckily, it, all my stuff is too long; it's not too short, so that's good. Okay, here's how I'm going to do this. I've I've decided that I don't want to mess around with calculations. That kind of gets me in trouble sometimes. So what I've got here is my homemade story stick. I can set this in the opening, adjust it to the width as long as I keep it flush to the front edge here. I know I'm, I'm reasonably close. I've got my one inch uh, ruler in here for, for my half inch spacing on both sides. Then I'll just dial this down and I'll my little home, this set screw locking in that width. And there it is, just a little wiggle. Let me adjust that again there. Okay, so now that's tight. Take this to my table saw, set my width, add a half, and then I should be good to go. All right, I guess I am going to have to measure this half inch. I can't find that block. Anyway, just bring this gently up to one of the uh, teeth of my blade there, and then I'm going to Set my stop here to a half an inch and just a little bit long. Oops. I'm going to tighten this up just snug and I can tap it. Just double checking this. That's a half inch. I'm on my blade tooth here. It should give me exactly what I want. Now I don't even know what that measurement is. in. This is my piece. It should overlap by about a quarter inch on both of them. And I'd say that's pretty good. Okay, this is what I'm after. So you can see that it's a, it's a, it's a little loose, but that's okay. I'd rather it be just a little loose and I'll leave room for glue. So what I did was set my blade up, I made this cut, and this is actually a little shy of a quarter of an inch, and that's where my looseness is coming from. But once I, once I establish that, uh, that's, that gives you a nice flush fit here, and then when you pull this together, it's, it's self-squaring, and uh, it'll lock nice and tight. And, uh, then this will be my this will be my front side right here, which I don't mind. I, I don't mind the exposed plies. So I can use these as a jig, you know, a setup jig. This being 
my setup for for here, which I've already got. I mean, that's uh, perfect. So I'm just going to leave that alone. So if I ever did break it down and wanted to do it again, I could use these test pieces to set it up again. So what I've got uh, is a setup already now. You can't see it here, but hang on. Right here, there. This is set up with this sacrificial fence, which I've got to lock down, by the way. <laughs> I might have to run this again. I didn't have that locked. Didn't realize that. So, um, this is set up for this spot here on my long pieces. Then I can come back and, and reset up for this cut on this side. And then just glue them together. Oh, well, before I do that, I've got to uh, run my grooves for my drawer bottoms, but that's no big deal. So, that's the joint I'm going to use. I'm not sure. I think they just call it a, a, a lock joint or a drawer lock joint. I'm not positive about that. But it's a nice joint. It's easy. It's uh, uh, once you get it set up, you can just run all your pieces and uh, it's strong too. And it, you know, that doesn't look bad. So, there you go.